Hi there. Um, hopefully, uh, it's working properly. This is going to be lesson three. Yeah. Um, now, these are massive, massive questions. So, we're going to take a little bit of time to get through. So, just bear with me. So, it says sand is formed from a hopper shaped, can, uh, shaped as a cone with a height of four meters and a radius of two meters. The sand falls from the hopper at a constant rate of 500 centimeters squared per second. So that tells you, if you look at the units, it's centimeters cubed, which is volume, per second, which is time. So I know it's dv by dt is 500. Now I have to decide is my volume reducing or is my volume increasing? So it's all about the sand leaving the hopper. So it's going to be a minus that my, my volume is reducing at 500 centimeters cubed per second. It says find the rate at which the depth of sand is decreasing when the sand in the hopper is half the depth. So I'm looking at the depth. You okay, Dan? See if it's uh, recording in here. I'm not Sorry about that. Somebody just wandered into the room that I was recording in with the dinner and went to sit down while I'm talking to the board. I didn't quite understand when I asked them to, uh, to leave. Never mind. Right, the depth. If I call the depth H, then I'm looking at dH by dt. That's what I want to find. dH by dt. When it's half its initial depth, so I'm looking when h is 2 meters, its height is 2 meters. So I've got h for height, r for radius. So it's a cone shape. So if you imagine, here it is, and the sand is coming out of the bottom. When it's full up to the brim, it's 4 meters high, and it's 2 meters across. But if you look, they're trying to get us here because the units are in centimeters cubed. So I need to change my units. I need to make sure that I'm equaling all meters or all centimeters. Because I've not got that information, I'm going to change it to centimeters. So 200 centimeters, 400 centimeters, 200 centimeters. Right, so let's have a think about this. So I want to find dh by dt. So I know from what I've done so far, the split. I've got information about dv by dt. So it kind of makes sense that this is a dv there. So I've got that, that's brilliant. That's minus 500. And I want this for dv. So what I'm looking for, for this, is an equation that links the height and the volume somehow. So an equation that links. We'll do volume and height. So I know that V is one third pi R squared, I think, H. So that's an equation there which links volume and height. The problem is it also links the radius. So this one's got three variables, which is where it gets a little bit difficult. It's got three variables. It's got V, R, and H. But I want just V and H. So we're kind of happy with that. So this is a bit of a mess as we go. Good time. Oh, R and H both change. I need to get somehow, to get rid of R, I need to find an equation that links R to either V or H. So I'm going to write that down then. So to get rid of, of R, we need an equation that links R to either V or H. Right, so 
there's no other information, there's no, no obvious kind of equations. So let's have a think about this. So make a little right angle triangle. So I've got a right angle triangle, and it's linking the height to the radius there. Now I've got to think about this. Now think about how it's going down. So all this, these are all similar triangles. When it was full, the height was h and the radius is 2. Now if I was asking this in class, I'd say to you, if it was half full, then what would h be? And you'd all say that h is 2. But then I'd say to you, what is r? And you'd say, oh, r is 1. And there's a link here between the height and the radius that my height is always twice my radius because it's similar triangles all the way. So if I wanted to remove the r, I could use h over 2 with r. So this is what I'm going to use. And this is, that's where it's really, really hard. So my volume equation is now a third pi, h over 2 squared times by h. So I've got my over 2 squared is 4, times by 3 is 12, then I've got pi h cubed. So there you go. So this bit here is the hard bit, where I've created another equation that links to remove the third variable. So now, if I find my, if I'm going back to this, my dv by dh, so dv by dh will be a quarter pi h squared, and I said it's when the height is half it is, so when h is 200 centimetres, so dv by dh is a quarter pi 200 squared. So what's that? So it's going to be, uh, so dv dh, oh, it's going to be, what's that going to be 40,000? over 4, so 10,000 pi, there, and then if I go back to the original equation, so the original equation was 4 dh by dt, and we said that that was d, uh, dh by dv, oops, hang on, So dh by dv times by dv by dt. So if I've got 10,000 pounds dv by dh, we're all happy that by now this is 1 over dv by dh. So that's 1 over 10,000 pi times by minus 500. There. If I've got this right, potentially, is minus 0.0159. And if you look at the units, the height is in centimetres and the time was in seconds, was it? Yeah, per second. Yeah, there you go. And that's that question done. So very, very freaky with the fact. Starts off nice, but then my V and H has got R in it, which I need to get rid of. Uh, that's my 8 minutes 43 for that question. So you can see how big we are. I'm going to stop to do, well actually, is there a question for you? There is a question for you. So I'm going to show you this and I'll release it. Please try and have a go. Uh, see if you can get it. Look at all this. It's massive. Well these are big like 50 marker jobs, aren't they really? So starting from the top, if you wanted to pause it, then you can get that information. And then if you want to pause it again, you've got that information. Yeah, so we're nine minutes for now. I've got any more questions in there. A little bit more there. No? Do you know what? I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So we've got plenty of practice in class. Right, well done everybody. This is proper full-on stuff. Bye-bye.